I actually found that chart of yours somewhat comforting for at least America. When you take a look at uh, the mortality risk, again, these are all projections. I don't, I don't put any stock in them whatsoever, but by your own projections throughout the United States, because of climate change, we're going to actually have a reduced risk of mortality uh, overall in the United States. In terms of excess deaths, a gl warming globe is actually beneficial. In my own state, your, your study shows that uh, we'd have a reduction mortality of somewhere between 54 and 56 people per, I guess it's 100,000. Why, why wouldn't we take comfort in that? Wisconsin uh, will benefit in terms of mortality. There are 49 other states in the United States. Uh, many of them uh, will suffer. Uh, many of them will suffer more than Wisconsin will gain. Uh, and that is, uh, that is the nature of climate change. It's very unequal. If you're trying to mitigate harm globally, isn't it true that the number of deaths, according to this Lancet study, the no number of deaths caused by heat are 600,000 per year. Deaths caused by cold are 4.5 million annually. So, I'm so the, the fact, in terms of global health, in terms of excess death, we're actually in a better position to prevent death by having the climate increase in temperature a little bit. So, you're concerned if you're in the really hot region of, of Africa, but in terms of the United States and most of Europe, we're in pretty good shape. We're all blue. We have reduced risk of death.